What's up, YouTube? We're back with Pack Battle number six versus the guy who I just impersonated. Uncannily, I'm pretty sure we could all agree on that. Ruxin34, game six, our sixth pack battle. And we are joined by the pack, as you can see in the back here. We have not only Belle, the veteran, what's up, Belle? Lily, and Bailey over here. Say what's up, guys. I'm actually holding them hostage. They can probably leave now. Okay, guys, you can go. Go. <laughs> I was holding them hostage. Yeah, they never stay for openings. And if you're just coming over from the aforementioned Ruxin 34's channel, do videos every other day, pretty much. Give or take your 100 pack opening every once in a while, and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more. But with every video, there's a little giveaway. And today's giveaway is pretty epic. You will be getting a Judgment of the Light Blister Pack, along with a Stardust Dragon Assault Mode Ultra Rare. All you have to do, leave a like, comment who you think won this battle between myself and Ruxin, and subscribe. And it is a good time to be subscribed to Yu-Gi-Oh! because like I said, the 1K special was just recorded and we opened up over 100 5Ds Booster Packs. Every single booster pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, first edition and turbo packs included. It was an absolutely epic opening, so make sure you guys ch go check that out. But giveaway winners are usually announced seven to eight days-ish after the videos are posted, so you can probably still get in on that giveaway as you're watching this one, if it hasn't been seven days. But today, like we said, I have business to take care of, a victim to take on. We are going to be taking on Ruxin in our sixth pack battle. Make sure you check out the last couple. Uh, it was pretty insane. I won't give any spoilers. Let's just say it fit with the Spooktober theme for the month. Anyways, we're going to be getting into it. I sent him some packs, as you can see, pretty much all the Zexel packs, uh, aside from a couple. But I also picked up some Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy packs from the man himself and a new Challengers booster box. Check it out. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 or Arc V box, but still has awesome ghost rares. And that cover card would be insane. Dark Xyz Rebellion Dragon to pull that. We also sent him a value box. If you've watched his video, you've probably already seen it. We'll also be opening up 10 OTS Pack 14s. It's pretty insane. Another opening that I had pretty recently that was absolutely epic. But before we get into that, we have probably the rarest, most epic, definitely, completely authentic, original packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Check it out. Magic Ruler, again, as, as like I said, 100% authentic, Metal Raiders, and Labyrinth of Nightmare. Spoiler alert, they're actually not real. What? These are from uh, my our buddy, Let's d -d 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 Duel. I think I got enough Ds in there that time. Stan on Instagram, make sure you check him out. He got these fake packs. Yeah, these are fake. Actually, pretty convincing fakes. Like you can tell if you look at them. They're absolutely janky. And I'm sure the cards inside them look absolutely janky. Yeah, I don't think we're pulling any uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragons here. <laughs> Whoa, what are, are these cards like all hollow? What is this? An ultra rare Mother Grizzly that looks like it had like saturation completely turned up on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, and it's first edition too. At least they, the cards inside still say MRL on them. But this is part of the battle, guys. He, like I said, let's do -du 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 duel. Also sent them to Ruxin way too long ago. <laughs> that is hilarious. Some of the spellings off. For the most part, the names, right? The, the names look right. These are pretty decent. Pretty decent fakes. I'll take them. <laughs> Ultra rare Mother Grizzly, man. I don't know. I don't know if you can top that. <laughs> Yeah, the hollows in here are absolutely uh, probably just up in the air. I have no idea what's in here. Again, Labyrinth of Nightmare. I do not think we can pull that Mask of Restrict cover card there. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> let's see. This, like I said, this is included in the battle. Should I do the uh, card trick here? Because the hollow is probably at the front, right? Yeah. Look at that card trick on a fake pack. Ooh, Beaver Warrior. Feral Imp. This is like a Yugi pack. Dark hole. Oh man. Going down with this pack. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Ooh -hoo -hoo. GG. We pulled a secret rare barrel dragon. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at that foiling on that. 
<laughs> That's jokes though. I think it's better than the uh, the ultra rare that we pulled. <laughs> that is too funny. Speaking of the 1,000 sub special, where we opened every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, make sure you guys check it out. It's pretty much a movie. <laughs> It's like over two hours long, and I uh, understand that's pretty tough to watch for some people, so I'm actually going to be uploading it. And for some reason, it didn't upload in 60 FPS, I guess just because it was so long. So I'm going to be uploading a three-parter with uh, timestamps. Oh, look at this. There's like a freaking piece of jank on it. Yeah, with timestamps, with like all the pack openings, all the times for the openings, all listed. Okay, I need to get through this opening, even though I definitely had a lot of downtime. Oh, a white magical hat. Okay, so it looks like two ultra rares. All right, we're going to jump into the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D, to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal packs. We're going to start off with some Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Why the heck not? Uh, cover card pull here would be absolutely insane. Neo... Why do I keep forgetting its name? Not Neo Galaxy Eyes. What's its name? Maybe we'll pull it and find out. Battle Boxer Lead Yoke. Okay, wait, this is really upsetting me. Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, you dummy. <laughs> wow, okay. Professional Yugi YouTuber here. Oh, and I almost forgot. You've probably already seen this. Spoiler, if you already if you haven't watched Ruxin's video. I sent him a first ed Stardust Overdrive pack, which you're gonna be seeing opened at the end of this video. And he actually uh, forgot about it, or no, he didn't see it when he originally opened the package. So that was funny. He almost threw it out. He had to go back and re-record it. So again, that's going to be open later at the end of the video. A pretty epic pack, one that I'm pretty excited to open. Okay, so another Delora the Tachyon Galaxy. This is also another huge opening. I said it was going to take a break after that 1K special, and this is like another over 50 pack opening. Fairy Cheer Girl. Okay, unfortunately. Um, another thing, another one I'd want to pull out of here, another ulti, would be, obviously, that Harpy's Channeler. Just just uh, printed in Lost Art. But to pair it up with that ulti would be beautiful. There's also some decent super rares in this set. Oh, Battle and Boxer Star Cestus. I don't think that's one of them. Uh, the one that I'm thinking of is Maldoche Hootcake. All those Maldoches. Epic, epic cards. Okay, another Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy before we mix it up a little bit. And Ruxin, I was going to say something about Ruxin getting crushed. Uh, oh! <laughs> on cube, does Ruxin just get crushed? That's hilarious. Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. That's actually the best secret I believe you want to pull in the set. Yeah, that's your top secret pull. So, not too shabby. I actually have the giant card over here. Hold on. Let me... It actually comes in the value pack that we're going to be opening. That's hilarious. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the jumbo version and the mini version right there. We will take it secret rare off the bat. And Gogo -Go 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 Gigas, is, I think is that, that's actually a decent rare as well. Alrighty, guys. Like I said, this is game six. We are actually coming da back from down 3-0. And as I crack this new Challengers box, which I got from the aforementioned Ruxin34, we have come back with two of probably the most insane openings. Like I said, if you haven't seen them, the last battle in particular, make sure you go check that out. It was one of my craziest, if not like the craziest opening on YouTube. I still can't believe it to this day. But Ruxin has actually two or three more of these guys for sale. Awesome, awesome set. Look at those packs. They look really cool, too. And uh, still has Ghost Rares in it. Even though, again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, still a very, very cool set. And I believe some decent Ultimate Rares as well, too. I believe some the, the Sh El Shadows. There's an El Shadow in here. Ulti, I want to say. Never opened it, so we'll see. Imagine, imagine he sends me one with the ghost in it. Hey, Rescue Hamster. That's an awesome super. What a little cutie. All the other rescues. That would be awesome if you just sent me the packs with uh, his demise in it. And spoiler, I said there were, I wasn't going to give any spoilers, but spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the last battles, last chance, if you haven't, go watch them now. But we pulled back-to-back -back ghost rares in two battles versus Ruxin34. And in the second battle, believe it or not, I still can't believe it to this day. 
if we pulled two ghosts in one battle. How insane is that? Like, that doesn't happen. In one one opening, and it wasn't even that many packs. Like, just just absolutely insane. Again, I was gonna mention though something about crushing Ruxin and something about the, the Lakers and Laval James, but uh, I can't really now after they <laughs> they won they won the ship. I was actually thinking about making like the thumbnail, me dunking on Ruxin in a in a, uh, in a Raptors jersey and him in a Lakers jersey, but again, can't really do that. Uh, if we, if we want to win, considering the Raptors were knocked out of this year's playoffs and the Lakers won it. But, shout out to the Lakers. Uh, awesome if they won it for Kobe. R.I.P. Kobe, Kobe and Gigi. Now, we are going to move on to oh, one OTS pack. Why not? Let's switch it up with just one OTS pack right now. And I've already opened quite a few of these. And, uh... Again, spoiler alert, the pulls were pretty insane. So uh, make sure you guys go check that out if you haven't seen it. But these are actually from another box, so hopefully. Ooh, there we go, Mess and Gelato, a nice super. There's actually some decent supers in this set. Hopefully we can get some of the Yaltis from this box. All right, let's go back to another Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Got a lot of these here. And then I'm actually going to open that great value box just because it's massive. I'm going to get it out of the way. <laughs> There's only a few packs in it. And a Maldoche hoot cake. There we go. Ooh, ooh. There we go. There we go. The best super out of the set. We will take that. Awesome. The Madoches are awesome cards. Definitely, definitely an awesome card. I one we want to pull out of Abyss Rising. Another pack we're going to be opening up later today. Hopefully, we get that Tiramisu Madoche Tiramisu. Really need that. All right. The new challengers. Back to Netch. Hopefully, pull that Dark Pixies Rebellion Dragon. Be an awesome card to pull in either Ultimate or Ghost. These cards feel kind of sticky, like they're like sticking to each other. Fluffle Owl, an Oracle of the Herald. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. I said I was going to open up this value box. So, you probably saw, if you uh, watched Ruxin's video already, I sent him one of these value boxes, and it comes with these packs that you see here or uh it says it comes with the packs that you see here but it's actually missing it's missing an abyss rising pack so it comes with two primal origins for some reason but they are first edition and the judgment of the light is first edition as well too so it's one of those uh cool things that has it's like a reprint set but still has some first ed packs in it kind of like 5d some of the 5d stuff you see but yes i sent him everything in this value box, and that's probably why he missed the um, Stardust Overdrive pack that I shoved in there at the end. Okay, so Primal Origin with this awesome sticky packaging. We're actually going to get Numbers Hunters out of the way just because weird all hollow pack right guys? I really love those. Not a big fan of them. Stoic Challenge. Curry Volt. That's a cute little, cute little card. Resurrection of Chakra. And an CXYZ Sky Palace Babylon. Not too sure about any prices in that set. So, uh... <laughs> sorry if the rack reaction didn't match the price there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I know prices. There's nothing really of value in that set. That's why I wasn't too excited to open it. But still, it's opening almost all the Zexal sets. Harpy's Pet, Phantasmal Dragon. Just missing Generations Force and Order of Chaos. Alright, let's bring new challengers back in here. A lot of those. We got to get through some of those boxes. Oh, whoa! Look, these are—they're like sticking together. This is weird. Oh, well, I know we got a hollow first movement solo. What is up with these packs? Yes, can we take it to Game 7, guys? Let me know in the comments. It's on you. Oh, there we go. And, ooh, a Denko Seca. First Ultra Rare. I don't think that's a great one. No, not the best. But the Burning Abyss, uh, sorry, Rare is a decent one. But yes, it is a very good time to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan. I will also be doing a collection video. Oh, sorry, I just randomly jumped into Prio here without even talking about it. Uh, something I'd want to pull out of here. Cover card ulti. 
let's go. And, ooh, Neo Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. That's another ulti that I would want to pull. Ugh. That'd be beautiful. Come on, let's get it. Still a chance. Got one more left. But yes, I will be dropping a collection video soon, uh, which is basically just a two vi two different videos. We're dropping like a sealed collection video, which isn't like that crazy. I just have a bunch of like basically 5D stuff. And also be dropping a singles collection video. So make sure you stay tuned for that because there will be a bunch of awesome stuff for sale. CXYZ Baryon Hope. Our next super rare. All right, let's take these packs out just to make it a little bit more streamlined. Everything's a mess, man. Here, I gotta set things up a little bit better. Hold on just a second. There we go. Alrighty, we're back. We're back. Still kind of messing with my OCD. I don't know why I have everything just all kind of over the place here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Even messing up Draco Sack there. Whoops. I just filmed a 1K special, man. Like, it was over two hours. So, cut me some slack. UA goalkeeper. Love the UAs. Sports related. I'm a big sports fan, as if you can't tell. In the background, Philadelphia Eagles, the best team in football. <clears throat> But don't argue. Don't at me. They are. <laughs> right? It has not been the best season for the Eagles if you do watch NFL, if you watch football. Look, these things are sticking together like crazy. But our schedule uh, loosens up a little bit. That We get, uh, get some easier opponents later. So hopefully, hopefully we can come in clutch, win the N NFC least. <laughs> the worst division in football. Come on, still haven't pulled too much grade from the new challenger. I'm not sure what the ratios are in it, but I'm assuming it's at least one hollow guaranteed. Flying through the first half here. Still, nada. All right, let's go back to another Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. And maybe open up some more OTS packs. Those are always, always fun. Oh, there we go. Green Dustin. Moldy Toast. Oh, and I didn't even mention the Judgment of the Light Blister pack that we're giving away. That's uh, one of the best cards in it. Cue the music, baby. Chicka Chicka Lattes. <laughs> Sorry, no, I won't make you, I won't cue the music. Or maybe I will. And a Super Quantum Red Layer. We've actually done pretty good for our Super Rares so far in these OTS packs. But uh, come on, let's spice it up a little bit with some awesome alties. Where is our first Ultimate Rare? Where's that Toon Kingdom or Nibiru? One of them. Come on, Raid Raptor, Force Strix. All right, back to new challengers. Even up the packs a little bit more here. And then maybe run that Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Zexel Gauntlet. Sorry, I was about to say 5Ds. Opened up so many 5Ds packs. Ooh, and there we go. Our next Ultra Rare. I can barely even see the name. Darkness of the Yang Zing. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. Actually, uh, Yazi, I believe it's called. Of the Yang Zing. The Ulti. I believe it's also in this set. That's pretty cool. Sleeve those up in a bit. Alright. Come on, new challengers. Still no Ulti. Still no Arc 5 Ulti. Nada. Okay, here we got some we got some Zexels to, Zexels? Some Zexel blisters to pop. So you know what? Start with let's do this. Shadow Spectres. And you've probably seen in uh, my little note in Ruxin's video. I also have most of these, if I, if not all of them, up for sale. So if you're interested, make sure you hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> I got some prices for you, quantities. I got you guys. I got you. <sighs> Number 46 Drag Dragluion. Dragluion? Dragluion. This is actually a really cool ultimate rare to pull as well. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent super to pull. All right, Netch. Where is that Where is that ghost? Come on, Ruxin. Send us that ghost. 
just imagine he did. Like, <laughs> he would feel so terrible. His last few battles, he's just been getting absolutely handed to him. <laughs> it's been hilarious. All right, here we go. Legacy of the Valiant. Uh, another very, very cool blister. One of the giveaway giveaway prizes for the, the uh, 1,000 subscriber special, so make sure you guys check that out. I'll leave a comment on that video to enter. Uh, but something, I, the two cards I'd want out of here is the Arc card. Silent Honor Arc and Silent Honor Dark. An ultimate rare. And we pulled neither. <laughs> Alrighty. You know what? Let's go with the Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy pack from the... Uh, the value pack would be would be funny if I sent him one with uh, with an ulti or something amazing in it. Considering I bought these ones off him. Okay, so mine was garb. <laughs> Still not too great. Uh, he did film his a little bit before mine, and he gave me a kind of a little bit of a spoiler saying his uh, his pulls weren't absolutely amazing. So there's a good chance for this to go to seven. But if it ties, then it goes to me, and we have to do seven anyways. <laughs> so, let that be known. Oh, and an Edge Imp Sabres. A lot of those uh, Falafel or Edge Imp cards or whatever were uh, censored, I believe. All right, let's go for another tournament pack, 14, the new tournament pack. And again, I've already opened this. Make sure to leave a link to that. Check out that video. It was pretty epic. Can we pull another ulti? unpossessed unfortunately we did not these new challengers back seem really like thin they're very, I guess they were in a box so that's something still have not pulled anything crazy though where's our first ulti we should get one from this box right should be a guaranteed ulti in here right right Ruxin uh, give me a dud box I don't know man yeah I'm playing Hopefully, right here, the ghost. And, ah, Mimic Clay. Ooh, we are really slowing it down here. You know what? We're going to have to go for Abyss Rising. Go for that Maldoche Tiramisu. Epic, epic card. I, I pulled two ghosts before we've pulled one of those ultimate or even ultra rare. We haven't even pulled the freaking ultra. So hopefully, hopefully it happens right here. Hopefully we can get some Ruxin battle luck. Ah, Red Dragon Ninja. It was a hollow, but unfortunately, just another super. Really, really coming down to the wire here. Come on, gotta be something in here. We save it right for the end for Stardust Overdrive. First edition Stardust Overdrive back. I've yet to pull an ultimate rare out of those, believe it or not. Oh, spoilers. A Noble Knight Galahad. Is that what that one is? I believe that's how you say that. I believe we pulled this one in ulti. So, unfortunately, just another rare, or sorry, ultra rare. New challengers. We're evening it up now. Getting down to the nitty with new challengers and still no... I don't think we pull the secret from here, right? Or an ulti, of course. Ah, and we couldn't do it there. Alright, guys. Judgment of the Light. The giveaway pack. Not this pack, obviously. We just opened it. <laughs> but that blister pack. So make sure you comment if you want to enter that giveaway. And maybe we'll pull the best card. Chicolate! Ah. Ooh, we did pull a Coach Captain Bear Man. An ultra rare. Just from that one Jodel pack. The one pack in here that is, uh, or sorry, one of the packs in here that is a first edition. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, wasn't anything really good. Or well, at least, wasn't an ultimate. Come on, where's that first ulti? Where's that first ch new challenger's ulti? And Herald of the Arclight. Another super rare. All right, back to OTS 14. We're still due for another ulti, guys. Where is that super polymerization? Calling it right here. Wood Ogre Dragon and Parallel Exceed. It's a decent super rare. All right, let's go back to back to OTSs. Why not? Coming at you on the new uh, Akiza Winamat. Akiza Black Rose Dragon Winamat. Just, just came in. 
And another parallel exceed. <laughs> Come on, we're really slowing down here. I know uh, Ruxin was saying I'm, I, I was going to have a hard time losing this battle, but yeesh, I don't know here. Come on, let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Hey, there is our secret rare Virgil, Rockstar of the Burning Abyss. I think that's a decent one. Hold on, let me check. No, sorry, never mind. I was actually thinking about the other Burning Abyss guy. Who is that? Dante. And that's not even in this set, so. Oops. Um, unfortunately. I don't even think there's the, the best secrets in this set. I think Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon would be one of them. Or a Utopic Dragon, sorry. Yeah, Utopic Dragon and Yazi. Of course. That's super rare, actually, though. Herald of the Arclight is a good super. That's not too bad. Okay, guys, we're getting down to the nitty now here. Only, like, three of each. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy and Nechi. So make sure you guys let us know. It might be it might be a lot closer than Ruxin thinks. Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars. Of Seven Stars. Let us know in the comments who you think won as we jump into Return of the Duelist. Some awesome ultimate rares in here. Spellbook cards. Some very, very cool. And also another Maldoshe card. Maldoshe Pudding Sets. Another, another one of those tasty desserts that we're chasing after. Hopefully, hopefully we pull one here. Return of the Duelist. Let's go return some great pulls. Ooh! There's no way. There's no way, man. I quit. I qu I actually quit. I get over. The video's over. I'm so sorry. Dude, this is it's it, there's not it's not possible that this happened. It's literally not possible. One blister pack. 3 battles in a row on to game 7. Oh my god, a row Heroic Champion Excalibur. There is there are a few print lines on it, unfortunately. Oh, I can't believe this. Just don't we, we can't even do game seven. You know what's gonna happen. Or you know what we should do. For game seven, let's open a first at LOB box because we know I'm gonna pull the blue eyes. Or no no. Sorry, that 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 wouldn't make sense. It's only the ghost rares that I get. I looked at it, and I was, again, it, it was like one of those moments where it was like, I thought it was a secret rare at first. Then I was like, wait a minute, what's wrong with this card? And it was like, just that moment of realization when you pull a ghost rare. It's been a while, my friend. It's been a, a while, but we're back. The ghosts are back, baby. This was going terribly. You got, you got, he has to do a reaction video to this. I, I have to somehow set it up to to tell him that, oh, whoops, oh god, I set a common down on the freaking sticky pack. We're getting rid of the sticky pack right now. I have to somehow set this up. Oh, nice. As, as my thing is overheating, I, yeah, I believe my face cam just overheated. So hold on, we'll be right back, right after we open this pre-o pack. But I have to set it up. I have to tell him, oh, something weird happened with your box or something. I didn't pull anything great, but... Oh my goodness, a secret rare. Bujinki Amaterasu. This was the card that we pulled in Ghost Rare for, <laughs> against him in the last battle. Are you kidding? This is crazy. I gotta, okay, I gotta cut this. I have to make sure to get this all on camera going forward. Hold on one sec. I'll be guys. I cannot believe it. Bujinki Amaterasu. The Ghost Rare we pulled in... Not the last battle, but the one just before that. I can't believe it. Right after we pull a heroic champion Excalibur. <laughs> you cannot write this stuff, guys. This is this is unreal. <laughs> but we're back up and running. Face cam is back up. Thankfully, it just ran out of battery, so didn't have an uh, overheating problem. Thankfully. But we are going to jump into... Actually, why not jump into Cosmo Blazer, a very awesome pack, and uh, this one, again, is from that value pack. This is, I believe, the last pack from it, and that cover card would be the pull, the chase card, number 92, Heart Earth Dragon. Oof. Even Ultra Rare is worth a pretty, pretty penny. 
Crimson Blader, and Fire Formation Tensu. So, unfortunately, we couldn't pull it there. Oh, man, this is... Uh, I'm still... Uh, I, it's funny, actually. So, again, spoiler for the last battle. The most insane... One of the most insane openings on YouTube. I actually saved these last two packs here. Galactic Overlord and Photon Shockwave. Because we pulled both Ghost Rares, yeah, both in one video. In one video. It was nuts. And yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's the craziest opening ever. I can't, I can't, actually can't believe it. It's just nuts. Still to this day. So make sure you check that out, even though I just spoiled it. I've said it many a time, so you've had plenty chances. It's one of the most epic openings on YouTube. You need to see it. But, even though <laughs> I'm probably going to get the dub here, huge shout out to Ruxin, the absolute GOAT. Right now, he's the GOAT. It's hands down, he's the GOAT Yugi tuber for sure. Nothing against all the OGs, but he's, uh, he's doing it big. He's doing it big right now. Videos all the time, and amazing videos too, all the time. So, actually, I believe we have a couple more, yeah, OTS packs here. Unfortunately, not the GOAT of this video, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Shien Spy, and a, a UA signing deal. Still no ultimate rare. Still looking for that Super Poly. Haven't pulled that Super Poly yet. Got that Stardust Overdrive pack just staring us down. Okay, let's go with another new Challengers. I still don't think we pulled an ulti out of here. Are you not guaranteed an ulti? I would hope so. Especially with this newer set. Fluffle Leo. So, last pack? Would it be in the absolute last pack? That's interesting. I don't know. But also a big shout out to all you guys. Especially all y'all who uh, stuck through that massive opening. I know I said I'm going to be reposting it, but a bunch of you did actually stick through the whole 1K special. So thank y'all for that. Uh, it was a doozy. <laughs> it was definitely pretty epic. And this video isn't too, ain't too short either. Come on, let's go. Icarus attack, and another parallel exceed. Come on, where's that dang? Okay, yeah, let's go with one more OTS pack, why not? Still haven't pulled that dang ultimate rare. Oh, there we go, come on. I always feel so, you gotta be so careful opening these three card packs, they're tiny. And a pointer of the Red Lotus, super rare. I was waiting for this category to be reprinted. It, uh, it, it, it definitely was long overdue. I pulled so many and sold them for like whatever it was. So, anywho, we are going to wrap up New Challengers and Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. I guess we'll save the first head one for last. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, still no ultimate rares pulled from either. No ultimate rares pulled at all in this opening. Had a bunch pulled in the uh, 1K special though. Dark Fairy Cheer Girl, and unfortunately, that was Lord of the Tap. Actually, no, we did have the secret rare uh, Draco Sax pulled from that, so was okay. Was not the best Lord of the Tachyon. Definitely didn't, you know, pull our Tachyon Dragon, unfortunately. What are you gonna do? Come on. New Challengers. This has to be the ultimate rare, right? Are you even guaranteed two secrets? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Guess you're not guaranteed an ultimate. <laughs> that is my luck with boxes. I, I say it all the time. It's way worse than it is with blister packs. As you can tell with this video. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you know, can't win them all. <laughs> but fortunately, I think I'll be winning this battle. And you know what that means, guys. On to game seven. Battle number seven, guys. You think I can take? You think I can take him down? Come back from 3-0. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think I can do it. And uh, let us know what you think. Uh, 
like some suggestions what you think we should open. Okay, Galactic Overlord, here it is. This is one of the packs that we pulled the Ghost Rare out of last time. Imagine doing it again. It's been done before. I pulled two Ghost Rares out of one case. Ooh, Heretic Dragon of Tefnut. So, unfortunately, it's not happening here. We're not pulling the uh, Galaxy Eyes back to back. We're going to go with Photon Shockwave before we get into that last OTS pack. Come on, where's that ulti? We need one ulti. Or a big secret or something. Rescue Rabbit would be really cool. Pulled the uh, pulled the unlimited version recently. Photon Shockwave. We've also pulled the unlimited Ghost. Here we go. We pull an Evil Sore maybe. <sighs> Alti guys, here it is. Our first Alti, and it's a wind up kitten. It's actually a really good one. Little kitty indeed. Awesome. I will take that. Late Alti coming in clutch, Photon Shockwave. Not too bad. I actually thought that was going to be possibly Galaxy Eyes. Oof, still need that Alti Galaxy Eyes. But there we go. We still have a few packs to get here. Get two here. OTS, last pack magic, come on. Where is that Toon Kingdom or something? Give us something. Where's that Alti? Another Messengelato, that's unfortunate. But I did already pull some Altis, spoiler alert, in the OTA, in my first OTS opening, so make sure you guys ch go check that out. And make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment on this video who you think won, even though we all know the real winners, it's you guys. <laughs> but without further ado, we are going to jump into the last pack here, the last, the pack that um, Ruxin almost forgot. The first edition Stardust Overdrive pack. These packs are not easy to come by in First Ed. Uh, they were not printed in North American booster packs in First Ed. So, very, very rare. Very hard to come by. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all stay tuned and subscribe for some more awesome content coming up in the future. If you like Rux and stuff, you should like mine. With that being said, can we do it here? Ah, okay, I don't think it would be hollow, right? Yeah, okay, so no hollow, unfortunately, for Stardust Overdrive. No last pack magic for the rarest pack of the opening. But for our little recap, first going to show off our super rares from OTS pack. Oh, and of course, our ultras and some of the other super... Er, yeah, no. Oh, and some ultras, of course. Got them all mixed in there. Classic Yu-Gi-Mo sorting. Some uh, some higher higher value supers, pretty cool. And other randos, but of course the highlights of the day. Some awesome secret rares. Amaterasu, ultimate rare wind up kitten, and ending it off with a heroic champion Excalibur. That does it for this battle, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! I just the universe. Are you kidding me? Oh my god!